Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and today we are corrupting 102 legacy tempered flesh jewels on standard. Now I don't usually do standard gambles, but this was interesting enough and the scale was large enough in terms of both exalts and just sheer amount of items that I thought it was something worth doing and something interesting to see the results of even if it's just for science, right? To see what we land on. Um, I'd like to quickly thank Squacko for providing the items for these. He's back again. Let's see if we can get something good for him this time. Um, and I, I'm hopeful that we will be able to with this with something of this scale. Now, I'm ter about, terrible about reminding about this, but please remember to subscribe if you like the videos. It really does mean a lot. I read all the comments, etc. I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, jumping into the gamble. So what are we working with here? Generally speaking, a legacy tempered flesh is very similar to a regular transcendent flesh. So the only difference is, is going to be the life recovery rate. So you get 3% per 10 strength allocated and minus 2% for uh, unallocated. On the legacy tempered flesh, it's just the crit multi. So maybe better, kind of a side grade. I guess it depends on your 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 tree that you're, put, that you're putting this into. But uh, that's the difference. Now, a legacy tempered flesh is just about the same as a legacy, um, a legacy transcendent flesh. It's maybe a slightly more. Uh, at the time of buying this, he was telling me though that they were generally cheaper. So he paid just about six to seven X right now for these. Um, and, and it's difficult. He said he paid anywhere from 10 C to seven X, but they sell for about seven or eight X now. So we're going to call it seven X total. Uh, so the gamble is just about 714 X for everything. If you were to resell these jewels today, assuming they sold, of course. Um, now, what are we trying to hit? There's really two things. It's always going to be reservation of skills and corrupted blood. So there is nothing, even in uh, any, there's nothing for these legacies. If you search for either corrupted or reservation. So not much to work with there. Looking at transcendent fleshes, we have a little bit better. So if you look at corrupted blood, transcendent flesh, you know, 200 plus X in standard and then reservation of skills, 250 X. Now he said he's going to list them sort of as, as necessary, basically the, the, the normal ones will just list below it. So, but we're really looking more and just see the results here. It's more, for me, this is more about the science to see what we can hit because the standard market is kind of tricky to understand, right? And obviously things sell much, much slower potentially. Um, so really we're gonna see for science. So we have 96 that are gonna be normally corrupted and then an additional six that will play at the end where we'll double corrupt these along with these jewels. So we've got an awakened AOE, two of those, um, sorry, three awakened AOEs, there we go. One Awakened Chain, one Awakened Cold Pen, and one Awakened Unbound Amulet. He gave these gems. So we're going to run these through the temples. We'll do the 96 now, then we'll do these, then we'll do the evaluation at the end, see how our results were. Um, obviously, again, please take a huge grain of salt with the evaluations here. Uh, very much unclear whether these, how much these will sell for, if they will sell at all. So it's, it's very much up in the air. The standard market does move, but it is slower. So without further ado, let's just corrupt. Let us, come on. Let's do this. Corrupt all these guys. Keep going down, down, down. And then because this is pretty easy for the sake of this first part, I will do the evaluation at the end. I'm just going to pull out anything that's of value. So we're basically going to just do classic type and check the reservation. Ooh. We got two of those, hell yeah. And then let's do Corrupted Blood. Uh, quite a few Corrupted Bloods, huh? Wow. Four Corrupted Bloods. Wow, and a bunch of rares. Uh, so we'll filter this out at the end when we do the total evaluation. I just wanted to pull out the good stuff now so we can see. But I mean, assuming this is, you know, 700x total in let's say each of these sells for 200x uh which might even be more you know that's 800 that's a thousand that's 1200x right there if these were to sell those prices we'll do obviously we'll do a full evaluation at the end but anyway cut to montage where i'm running through the double crops these last six so i will be right back
All right, everyone, we are back. Now, let's take a look at the numbers real quick. Now, again, this is really where any kind of theoretical profit would be, assuming these sell for anything at all. Um, this is where it is, but we're going to look at the results and, and as a whole. So we had 49 results that were, quote, not good, as in they, they didn't poof, they aren't disappeared, but they didn't turn into anything interesting, special, like hindered, damaged, whatever. These are just kind of random implicits, right? Then we had uh, 45 bricks. So these turned into rares. These turned into other uniques. And then we had two poofs. So that's the 102 uh, in terms of what we lost. Now, overall value, I calculated so... Squawko told me that essentially he's going to sell anything that has a, like sort of one of these not good implicits for he's going to list it for 20x but let's just say worst case scenario these sell for 5x basically what they sell for uncorrupted then that's going to be 245x just here in these jewels and these are random we got lightning we got pens we got minion damage no, nothing special pretty much what you'd expect so there's that side of it that's 245x if, I would say at the minimum if they sell now Looking at the really good ones, if these sold for 200x minimum each, uh, you know, some might sell for more, some might sell for less. It's re really hard to say. Again, please take any kind of standard evaluation with a big grain of salt. But uh, overall, let's just say they sold for 200x just for the for the sake of math and what we're seeing up there currently right now. So that's going to go ahead and be 1200x right there plus 245. That's a pretty solid profit of you know almost 700x maybe maybe more depending um depending on the variation between the selling could be could be a lot more honestly um but 700x is on standard that's almost a mirror now just quickly looking at the gems none of i would call these out but i'm going to kind of exclude them from the gamble because most of them basically stuck stuck around i bet you averages out to be about the same price um nothing went to level six so nothing special there um but overall really cool gamble uh, again less more less of a gamble more of a science experiment i would say because it's again it's on standard so it's always a little wonky but really cool thank you so much squawko for allowing me to do this on your behalf and anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next one